Hello everyone, Raven of the Retro Dev here, and welcome to another amazing tutorial from the Retro Dev. I know it's truly really amazing, but seriously, uh, in this video we're going to be setting up QBasic inside of um, 86 box and DOSBox staging, but it'll work in any version of DOSBox because this is the first of hopefully very many uh, QBasic tutorials and. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get started with the, um, the DOS box. So in a previous video, we made a YouTube DOS folder, and this is the directory for uh, you know where we've stored everything. So that's what we're gonna work from our uh, free DOS install, but there are many other ways that you can use uh, pretty much any folder and then tell DOSBox, that is drive C, and then, you know, you can also set your own auto exec. There's lots and lots of different ways that you can, uh, you can do this, but this is the way we're going to do it. And I'm going to make a new folder and we're going to call it devil for development. And then we're just going to call it QBasic. Now, QBasic is found in the description. There are two links. If you're going to be setting it up through DOSBox, you want to grab the one that's titled DOSBox, which is a 7-zip file. And you will need 7-zip in order to extract this. Uh, if you're on Linux, it should just should already have it. But if you don't, you know, your package manager has it. If you're on Windows, just install 7-zip. If you're on a Mac, I haven't used a Mac, a modern Mac, and I put that in quotes in over 10 years. So I absolutely have no idea how to help you with that one. I apologize. Um, and then we're just going to copy everything over. I added a little readme some basic information. I need to modify this part because I've made some changes. So uh, I'll modify this part before the final upload. Um, and then uh, we're good. We're, we're completely good. Uh, also, that copy instruction is wrong. But it's okay. The floppy has the more accurate. So it's all fine. Anyhow, there's a samples folder with all of the Microsoft uh, sample stuff. I had a bit of extra space on the floppy, so I just threw it on there. Um, and yeah, so now we have it. Now what we need to do is we need to add it to our, uh, our FD Auto bat file. Now there's a couple ways we can do this. Um, you can do it from inside of DOSBox, but we're gonna go ahead and do it since we have a launch DOSBox. So I had a semicolon here. This is where we're setting our DOS path directory here. And we're just gonna say C devil QBasic and then add another semicolon and we'll just save it. And just to make sure everything's right, we'll just launch DOSBox. And then we'll type QBasic. And there you go. Now you can launch QBasic from anywhere with a prompt. And you can, we'll just, let's see here. Let's do CLS screen zero print hello YouTube. And then we'll just hit F5 and ta da, we've done it. QBasic is all nice and set up. Ready to go. Okay, so uh, the next thing that we're going to do, since DOSBox is set up and ready, we're done with that. Now we're gonna do the other one. We are gonna do an actual DOS machine. So at this point, you would pop your floppy in, whether it's a USB floppy or an actual floppy. And then you would navigate to A, and I need to actually launch it. So let me add it. And now we can go into here and we can just do a dir and we will do a more and then readme.txt and it'll you know print out all the nice instructions which once again i have to oh i've i've made the adjustments there okay so it's x copy then we want to copy everything from a and then we want to copy it copy it to our c devil q basic which it will create and then the E and the I is just copy everything, subfolders and all. And the I is to not ask us if it's a folder or not. Quite a lot of files. In there. And then there's some extra little, you know, tidbit information in there. So X copy A C devil Q basic. And then we just hit enter. Probably should have checked that first before I just, you know, fired that off really quick. But you know, we like to live dangerously over here. So we're gonna we're gonna take a moment. Um, it's reading at a proper floppy speed, even though it's a full fledged 3.5, 1.4, uh, sorry, 3.5 inch, 1.4 megabyte 
floppy with turbo timings and all that good stuff uh, is still quite simple. It, it does take quite a bit. But we'll get there. Okay, so it copied everything. So now we're going to go back to C. And we are going to... And mine's already quite modified, but we're going to modify FD Auto anyway. And it's right down here. There's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, just add a bit of Cube Basic there. And we'll save it. And then we'll exit. And then we'll just do a reboot. And I'm going to go on ahead and go into full screen now. Actually, I'm going to... Uh, I'll leave it on the stretched 4.3. Or the proper 4.3. But you know what might be nice is ejecting that uh, floppy. Do a hard reset. It'll just continuously get stuck on that thing. Okay, there we go. And we're going to load everything. And uh gonna wait a second. Okay, perfect. It's set up and now we can do QBasic. Alright, so we have QBasic, it's all set up, so we'll just run the exact same command. CLS, which clears the screen, screen zero, print hello YouTube from 86 box running three dots. And you know what? Just to get fancy, we're gonna set it to color of 10. And then we're going to tell it to sleep. And then end. Okay, we're getting fancy here now. And I want to say F5. And there you go. It's all good. It's all set up. We'll hit escape, press any key to continue. Now, before we go on, let's take a look at some of those samples because this video is not very long. So let's go in and exit. And we'll just go into the devil and then QBasic. I could have just typed it out for but okay. And we'll just do QBasic. And now we'll just do a file open. And then we'll tab. Sorry, let, let me slow down. So you do an Alt F. And then you can mouse down. Or you can hit O. Keep in mind, this is the old DOS days. For those of you that are not very familiar with this. You, you, don't, um, you don't really... Uh, you don't... Um, you don't like... Uh, you, know, you don't have to use the mouse. And... With 86 box, my mouse is way too fast. Uh, so another thing to note is you'll notice that it's wildcard looking for bass files, which basically those are basic files. And basically it means like if you had a BI file, which would be like an include file, it would not see it. You would have to change the file name extension here or completely clear this out. But that's okay because we don't have any of that. So we'll go into our samples. Now there's a couple different things in here. We're going to choose the synth one as it's a little easier and quicker uh, to get out of. And we're just going to hit F5. And that instantly started. Okay, so this, this is a Microsoft Q synthesizer. As you record and playback songs entered by uh, pressing keys, you can store 50 of them. And we'll, let, let's, let's, uh, let's play hat. I have no idea what hat. Good old PC speaker music. Okay, let's, let's check out Yankee. Okay, now we what we can do is we can control the tempos. We can make it go really, really slow. Or really, really, really fast. Okay, well let's let's look at what else we have. Okay. Uh let's see, there was there were quite a few things there. Um let's try bricks. I don't remember what bricks was. Okay, Q is quit, P is pause. And is this just Pong? One player, please. No, it's Arkanoid. Okay, perfect. It's Arkanoid. Okay, I almost missed that. <laughs> uh, so these are some some really nice examples. Uh, they're they're very basic. They don't cover everything. Like you know, there's no double buffering or you know anything like that. But they do teach a fair bit, and they're free. So you know why not? I have no idea where I got them, by the way. Otherwise, I would totally attribute where I got these. Things. Can't remember. Um, and yeah, this the, we just play this, and then I'll just hit Q to back out of this. Do I really want to exit? So this is pretty nice. You know, it gives you some examples. Like these are programs that like you would grab and type out yourself and learn as you type them out, which is a great way to learn programming. Um, and then you know it recommends that you add some additional stuff. 
to it. And there's a bunch more. Uh, it's it's fairly well documented. You can page down. You can see everything is very documented. Uh, your sub, which are your functions, uh, you can hit F2 at any time, and you can just you know switch to them. Like here's the here's the function that handles moving the paddle and keeping the paddle within the uh, the screen and all that sort of stuff. See what else we got here. Uh, update screen. Yeah. With the new scores, levels, vault counts on the screen. It's not too bad. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cover lots of stuff on how to like make games and stuff like that with uh Quick Basic. I'm gonna be using Quick Basic. Um, but uh I'll also have another video on installing that, but QBasic or Quick Basic will work. Um Either or will be compatible. I'll ensure that my code is compatible with both. And I'm just going to exit there. And I'm going to end this video here. Don't forget to check the description for everything. And if you have any questions or you run into any issues, you know, hop over on the forums. And if you like uh, this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.